celebrating 90 years of Decca Records. South Londoner Tommy Hicks discovered rock and roll when his Navy ship docked in America. He returned home inspired by the sound of Buddy Holly and teamed up with songwriters Lionel Bart and Mike Pratt. Whilst performing in London, Hicks was spotted and introduced to pop impresario Larry Parnes, who believed the renamed Tommy Steele was an all-round entertainer to rival Elvis. Tommy signed to Decca in 1956 and, with the help of the Steele men, became famous as a rock and roll frontman reaching number one in 1958 with Singing the Blues. His first long playing record went to the top of the UK album charts. Tommy was instrumental in paving the way for the likes of the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. Over you. Another protege of Larry Parnes, Ronald Witcherly was an aspiring songwriter hoping to get his songs recorded by other artists, but instead found himself thrust out on stage and renamed Billy Fury. His early stage performances were provocative and he was made to tone them down. Releasing his first single with Decca in 1959, his debut album The Sound of Fury followed, Keith Richards declaring it as one of the greatest rock and roll albums of the era. See your mind. 